Welcome everyone. In the interest of time, we're going to go ahead and get this uh, program started. I'm Deborah Hulse, I'm Vice President for Institutional Advancement. And uh, I just have to tell you, it was about a year ago that something really special came to our attention. And today is our opportunity to celebrate it. So um, first, I want to thank you all for, and yes, I have my notes. So here you go. Because if I don't, Dr. Harper knows what's happening. I'll just go all over the place. Uh, I want to thank you for being part of commemorating this really unique uh, project that captures the essence of who our students are and what they accomplish through friendship, shared interests, and collaboration. These students reflect the distinctiveness of our university and it has been my privilege to watch their vision move from a concept on paper to a sculpture that will grace and beautify our campus for years to come. I want to introduce some special people first before we get started. We want to acknowledge, we want to acknowledge our Women's Leadership Luncheon speaker this year, Ms. Julie Webster. Uh, she was the Chief Engineer and Spacecraft Operations Manager on a NASA project which spanned 20 years of the satellite to see as it orbited and gathered data on the planet Saturn. We also welcome her sister, Sandra Martin, uh, and we're pleased you're able to join us today. I know this is special for you too. It is. It is. Our other special guests include, I can't list all of the outstanding physics students, so if you're a physics student, I'm not saying your name, just, you, there's just too many special ones to acknowledge. But we're going to start with David Winsky, uh, Jandy Chandler, Aaron um, Herring, who is ill today and not able to join us, and Alexander uh, Mendoza. So we also want to make sure we recognize all the members of the um, Student Physics Society. Society of Physics Students. There we go. I knew I'd get it right one day. But before we start telling the story here, I would like to have Dr. Harper uh, come up. She has a few comments that she would like to share. Well, thanks all of you for being here. And it's a special day for McMurray and a special day for science at McMurray. And one of the things that uh, most of you know is that we're celebrating our, centen our uh, centennial era. We just had our 95th birthday. And this year is uh, McMurray Discovers Year. And when you think about discovery, you think about the first to learn something, to observe something, to, dis to uh, find something. And, um, and this is certainly what Cassini did. I mean, uh, it's the first satellite to really take pictures of Saturn and really have some outstanding images for the world and the rest of us to, to uh, be in awe over for, for decades to come. And what I think that's interesting about this project is that it's taken the concept from the sciences and then designed by our art students. So it perfectly blends the wide array of, of study that we have here at McMurray of the arts and the sciences. And there's really not much difference. A lot of us kind of separate it, but there's really an art to the science and a science to the art. And we're really excited that not only did the students think about it, have the gumption enough to ask the administration whether this would work, can they do it? They actually followed through, and that's a big part of leadership, <laughs> to actually follow through and uh, make it happen. And there's all kinds of things. We were talking at dinner the other night about, you know, the first design was something, the, the final design became something else and something better. And I think that's also a project, a, a part of education, you know, kind of taking an idea and then as you get into it, realize, you know, we might be able to make it better when we get feedback and we get a lot of <coughs> ideas going and recognizing what we can and can't do. So I think all of these things, and again, I'd like to thank Julie for, and we've got <laughs> nature here right now. <laughs> but anyway, uh, like Julie, uh, uh, because it's, we, it just is so great that we not only are able to celebrate this the, the Saturn project, the Cassini project, with this, uh, with this uh, art design, 
but also to have the chief engineer here while we do the unveiling. I, you can't get much better than that. So uh, thank all of you for being here and let's have a great day. Thank you, Dr. Harper. I know these comments mean a lot to the students and also to the physics faculty. If you would just kind of raise your hand and let us show you our appreciation for all of you. class of 2019, Yay. who's going to leave us in May, brought this to our attention a year ago. Like Dr. Swarper said, he had the gumption to come to cabinet and the administration to get approval, and we unanimously said yes. So, David? Okay, so I'm David Winsky. I'm a senior physics student here. I'll be graduating this semester. Um, just kind of a quick summary of how this project came about and just how it unfolded. Um, our very own Shandy Chandler, she's part of a Pi Phi here on campus, which is a social club. And um, she was mourning the, um, the end of Cassini in 2017. She's just very passionate about that field of physics. So um, her club uh, recommended to her that she should approach SPS so they can make uh, a memorial for it. So she approached us and we started talking about ideas for the memorial, coming up with you know first drafts, second drafts, third drafts, and whatnot. And then in the uh, the spring of 2018, we went to the uh, conference at Tarleton, and we saw that uh, Julie Webster was going to be the one of the keynote speakers there. So we figured we might as well you know go to the dinner at least. We never never go to the banquet at the end, but we're like, we need to go to it this time because Julie's going to be there. So we listened to the talk she gave, and at the end of the talk, we approached her. We had a rough mock-up of what the um, the memorial is going to look like, and we showed it to her, and just invited her out, out here and asked if she could be out here when you know we did finish it, when we dedicated and everything. And she was, you know, very enthusiastic and excited about it, and decided to come out here. So uh, from basically the end of that to now, we've been working on the memorial. Um, Another name to mention, Aaron Herring, he uh, played a big role in casting the Cassini. He casted it himself, he's, you know, his personal time and, you know, resources into that. And other than that, this is uh, where we are now. So uh, if uh, Dr. Harper, if you could come up here real quick. We're going to do something. Oh. Oh. Is Nancy? No. Okay. Um, we printed off. So these are the actual models we use. We scaled them down a little bit. So just for y'all helping us, they're keychains. Oh, so, cool. Just as a thank you for y'all. And then uh, Julie, yeah, could you come up here real quick? So um, this is one of the, this is the actual, well not the actual one, a copy of it that we used to cast Cassini that Aaron used, that he used for his mold. So we thought we'd make one for you and give it to you. Thank you. Before we ask Julie to make some comments, um, I wanted to mention that uh, when we when we get the plaque for the uh, the statue, the architectural feature still trying to know exactly what we talked about, the piece of art that's going to grace our campus. I want to make sure that we read out what the plaque is going to say. In recognition of McMurray University students for their vision to memorialize the Cassini Project, a 20-year mission that gifted humankind with the beauty and mystery of the planet Saturn. Julie? Thank you. you you have no idea, and I don't think that um, David or any of the people knew when they saw me last year how close a connection this is, how incredibly, I, I don't want to use the word blessed because I'm not that kind of person, but, uh, <laughs> you know, Abilene, my, my parents, my grandparents were in Coleman, Texas, so this is, this is, childhood stomping grounds. This is, you know, the area of my aunt.
ancestors, at least on my mother's side. My father came from North Carolina for the war, but, um, it, you know, McMurray being associated with Methodists, uh, you know, it, it's every connection that you could not have known uh, in my background. So um, I am a fifth generation Texan. Um, sometimes I claim the Methodist Church, sometimes I don't. But, uh, you know, there's a lot of, um, and Cassini, and to have the, the, the vision and drive for these kids to not just say, oh yeah, I checked that mark that, I went to the Physics Society talk so I can look like I'm a, you know, participating member. This is so amazing to me. And, and it is art. It is art. It is art. It is science. It is working together. And I, I truly believe that Cassini is going to be the most, the most uh, successful mission in NASA in the interplanetary mission. I think the Voyagers, which went 20 years before Cassini, were audacious in their design, and nobody can touch that. But Cassini, being at Saturn, staying at Saturn, getting 292 revs of Saturn. It's got data that your children will will analyze, and um, we need to go back. So keep that in mind as you're looking for your careers and you're looking for your passion and you're looking for your opportunities. Thank you. So now I wish we had a drum out here because we really need a drum roll, but. Um, we don't. I could kind of try to pretend like I'm one, but then that would really ruin everything. So there's going to be somebody in the audience. Like <laughs> for a drum. Yeah, anybody have a drum roll app? <laughs> well, now we would like for Dr. Harper, Ms. Webster, and David. <laughs> I'm so horrible. Chandy and Alexandria to come up and let's commence with the unveiling. Uh, this concludes our program.